Hello, just to continue on from the other video that I generated, I, you know, I had you do some bioinformatics of searching the sequence of FO13 alkaline phosphatase versus the database looking for human analogs. And if you remember, what we did was we wound up with an output that looks like this one. It shows the query was the query was FO13 and the subject is, is the uh, PGP, glycerol 3-phosphate phosphatase from humans. And um, this kind of an alignment, you know, is kind of useful. And if you've looked at them, a lot of them, you can kind of see relationships. You can see these things, these two proteins are pretty closely related. Because if it have repeats the letter in between, it means they're identical residues. Plus sign means a conserved change between the two. But... The, the other part that is not as useful for the things what I want you guys to look at is that notice that it only starts with amino acid 13 and 17 and it doesn't go all the way to the end. What I want to do is to show you how to go ahead and use a different website called Clustal and Clustal will align um, many different protein sequences together and in this case we're only going to be doing two even though I think that maybe including the mouse one might be an interesting one to add, but I'm going to show you that. I have another, I just have a tab where Clustal is C-L-U-S-T-A-L dot org. And to get into it, just take, click Clustal. It gives you an introduction, and uh, I always use the web server. I'd recommend using because I don't think you want to download it and run it on your in your computer. Multiple sequence alignment. So you need to input your sequences, and you can put them in, in any format. What I'm going to do is I have the FO13 sequence, and I will open the human PGP sequence as well. So what I'll do here, sorry, I have... Um, multiple monitors here and they keep popping up into the other monitor. So I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of the information for the FO13 sequence. Just copy all of it. Do, you know, control or command A, control or command C. Go into here and in this click control or command V. Put a couple of carriage returns in. And then you go to the human sequence right here. You highlight all of it. Do the same thing, copy it, paste it in. Uh, the nice thing is the, the, the software will parse it out for you. And I want you to go ahead and just, the parameters, just setting your parameters. I want to cluster with character counts because so that'll put numbers so you'll be able to find, find amino acids and things like that, which you have find out those residue numbers. And the default settings, I found, they made the statement here, the default settings will fulfill the use, needs of most users. In this case, that's exactly true. And I want you to go ahead and just uh, submit your job and just hit click Submit. It says, you know, the current job is currently running. And it's done. Is it literally as it fast as that? And so what I want to do is just show you there's a couple things you can do with it. Uh, some people like to click the show colors part, and you can have all the amino acids in various different colors. So each of the amino acids has a different color. I think they might be grouped by certain attributes, but I'm not 100% certain. I personally haven't used the colors very much. I'm going to click hide colors. So I look here is an asterisk means it's an identical residue between the two sequences. And a colon means it's closely related. And then a little period here means it's distantly related. And if you see nothing there, it means it's an unrelated amino acid. And that way you can look at these relationships. There's yet another uh, program where we can actually submit this sequence and actually analyze it but currently, tonight, the, um, the box shade website is not open. But what I would do here is go ahead and download this alignment file. And we'll copy. 
copy it. And I'll go ahead and do file new in notepad and I will paste it in notepad. Oops. And now I will paste it into Notepad. So this has all that information, and hopefully I will give you be able to give you a demo of the box shade application in the next video if, if that website comes back up. Uh, hopefully this was useful for you, and this is sort of one of the assignments. This is part of the assignment for assignment number one. I want you to align these two sequences where all the amino acids are present. Notice the numbers are here, so this is residue 56 for FO13. This last residue is residue 60 for the human sequence. And, and these little marks here show you the relationships between them. And so I will save this file, save as... alignment of FO13 and human PGP. And uh, part of your assignment will be at least going ahead and including this sequence in your, in your results. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, send me an email and ask questions. Thank you for your attention. Bye.